We now discuss some popular hardware charging detection methods. We will start with test time approaches followed by the runtime monitoring approach. In the logical test based hardware charging detection, we run different test patterns or test vectors and monitor the system's output and behavior. If the system had hardware charging, when the charging is activated, its malicious behavior or malicious payload will be observed as that it can be caught. However, a full coverage test is impractical for reasonable size of the circuit. For example, if we have a combination of block with n input, then there potentially will be 2 to the power n test vectors. Once this, the logical block has also sequential parts, for example, if we have m flip-flops and n an input, then the total number of test cases will be 2 to the power n plus m. Therefore, people have developed random test, random test based hardware charging detection mechanisms. However, such methods will fail because we have learned hardware charging normally are triggered by rare events. When you do a random selection, these rare test vectors may not get selected. Therefore, we know the hardware, the hardware charging detection mechanism at test time based on logical test is how to generate rare test vectors to activate the hardware charging. Another way to do hardware charging detection at test time is to do the set channel analysis, just like the set channel analysis attack. What we do is we monitor the set channel information during the execution of the system at the test time. If the system has hardware charging, then its presence will show uncertain physical parameters and can be observed through set channels. These are pretty good because they not only capture functional hardware charging, they can also capture non-functional hardware charging, like the parametric hardware charging. However, they may have a high false alarm rate because, because of the fabrication variations, because the, the set channel information measurement errors, or because the modeling errors when we model the normal behavior of the system. So now let's see a couple of popular set channels. First is the power set channel. We can measure the supply current at the quincent stage when the circuit is not switching and the inputs are also not changing. In this case, if there is a hardware charging, the hardware charging circuitry will consume additional leakage power and then can be caught. However, this may also have false alarm rate because nowadays chip, it has a very high leakage current. Similarly, we can also measure the transient uh, supply current. When there is when there is when the hardware charging is activated, it has additional switching activity, and this will cause an increase in dynamic power, so it can be caught. For this one to work, we need to find ways to activate the hardware charging, or at least activate part of the hardware charging. For power side channels, there are a couple of limitations. First, it it fails to capture small hardware charges or the always on hardware charges because you cannot distinguish this from the power set channel trace. And also they are very sensitive to noise, to errors, and also to fabrication variations. Another set channel is the timing channel, where we know that hardware charging can change the delay of a pass. For example, in the case of kill switch, the added logical gate will make the pass longer. In the parametric hardware charges, the change of the wire or the change of the transistors may change the delay as well. So the limitation of delay, pass delay based hardware charging detection mechanism is not all the passes we can measure their delay. For us to measure the delay of a pass, we need to be able to observe or to see both the starting gate and the ending gate of the pass. And also the this the pass delay measurement 
will be very sensitive to fabrication variation and other noises. And similar to static channel analysis attack, we can also capture hardware children's from the EM emissions. So when the circuit has hardware children and the children got activated, the additional switching will produce EM trace, which can be captured and then used to detect hardware children. So here is a short summary of the two major test time approaches. In the first the logical test-based approach, these are good to capture small hardware children's. They are also very robust and the noise and the fabrication variations. However, they cannot handle large hardware children's, mainly because of the large space of test vectors. And also it is very hard to generate the test pattern with test vectors that can activate hardware children's. On the other side, the, the set channel analysis based approaches, they are good to capture large hardware children's because this may introduce large variation in the, in the power, power trace or current trace. They can also hand, handle non-functional hardware children's like the parametric, parametric hardware children's. However, these are all sensitive to noise and fabrication variations because of measurement of the set channel information. And also, they cannot detect the small hardware children's because the small hardware children, their contribution to set channel information may not be significant enough. In addition to test the time hardware children detection, we can also capture or catch hardware children's at runtime. The basic idea is simply to monitor the execution of the system at real time. If the system has hardware children and the children get activated, then we can find the malicious behavior. However, in this case, most likely there will be a inter interrupt mechanism coupled with the runtime monitoring system. Once the hardware children is detected, the interrupted mechanisms will stop the execution to protect the system. As we know that at test time, we cannot can detect old hardware children with 100% guarantee. Therefore, runtime monitoring is a very good complementary approach to test time approaches. However, for us to do runtime monitoring, we do need monitoring units. And these units will take resources like power or CPU time, and then they can cause performance overhead. Another feature about runtime monitoring is, once we know what type of hardware children we are looking for, then this runtime monitoring approach can be very effective because we have a target to monitor. We know what is the expected malicious behavior. Finally, let's see a few examples about hardware children detection. So first, let's consider the parametric hardware children. These are the children that are not changed the functionality of the system. Therefore, the logical test with runtime monitoring may not be able to detect these parametric hardware children. However, since they change the physical parameters of the circuits, in particular the wires or the transistors with the logical gates, so this will leave some trace in the power or the delay set channel. So the set channel analysis based uh, uh, and that uh, detection can find the parametric hardware children's. And a big children. So for a big children, depends on whether they change the functionality or not, we may be able to detect it at, uh, using the logical test. However, it may not be easy because when, when we have a big hardware children, it may not be easy to exhaustively search all the test patterns. And the big hardware children will cause the big variation on the power consumption. So we will be able to detect it by the power set channel analysis. For the pass delay based uh, detection mechanism, depends on whether the big, the big hardware children is on the pass or not, or whether that pass can be measured or not. We can either detect it or we may, we may not be able to detect it. And normally, a big hardware children can be detected at runtime. 
On the other hand, a small hardware children, this is very good for the logical test test based approach to detect it at test time. It, it is also very good for delay based uh, set channel analysis because for the small ones, the pass delay, I mean, the number of paths may be limited. However, because it is, it is small, so the changes it have made to the system for power is very, very limited. So we may not be able to detect it from the power set channel. At runtime, it depends on what kind of impact the small hardware children will make to the system. We can either detect it or not be able to detect it. Remember, a tight, tight hardware children is the one that clustered at one spot on the chip. So this is something similar to a big hardware children. So we will be able to detect it through the power set channel. We can also normally detect it by the delay set channel because this is a large unit. And it depends on the, the payload of the, the hardware children. The runtime monitoring approach may may be able to detect it or may not be able to detect it. And normally, the logical test-based approach can detect it such hardware children because we have a large block here and there are certain approaches to generate test patterns to test this large block. For the loose hardware children, these are the ones that randomly distributed all over the chip. So this one may not be able to be detected by power set channels because each of this is a small hardware children. And similar as before, it's, whether it can be detected by the runtime monitoring approach depends on its payload. And normally it can be detected by the logical test based approach or the delay set channel. The always on hardware children. This is very hard to detect. So because it is always on, so at runtime monitoring, it doesn't show any difference. And also it is always on, so the power trace doesn't show any difference. And as we mentioned, some of the always on hardware children, they don't change the functionality of the system. So logical test may not be able to find it. However, this always on hardware children, they do change the delay of the, the circuit. So the past delay based on the set channel can capture such hardware children. Finally, as we have mentioned earlier, so there are several uh, perp malicious purposes for hardware children. For example, one of them is trying to leak sensitive information. So for this type of hardware children, we may not be able to detect it by logical test because to leak information, they don't change other part of the functionality of the system. And also this unit, for example, the, leak, the information leak through an addition, an added antenna. So the past delay may not be detected as well. However, the power set channel may be, may be able to detect it. Once the, inform, once the antenna is activated, the power may become higher. And also at the runtime, we can, once we know the target of the hardware children is to leak information. We can monitor <coughs> the signal, the data communication channel of the system and then detect such hardware children.